Well, well, well. It's been a very long time. Hopefully everyone's doing good. So in the background is just going to be some uh, old clips that I have of Telos and other bosses. Or maybe just Telos, I don't know. Just uh, stuff that I found in my documents. By the way, in my documents I still have like 480 clips of RuneScape that I just didn't upload because... Yeah, because stuff. So I'm just going to be going over the reasons why I don't play anymore. Pretty sure some of you already know. Keep in mind, I haven't quit game and I still game every day, just not RuneScape, so... And these clips are from my main account, by the way, which is why the name is different. Alright, so let's get into it. So there's a few reasons why I don't play anymore and why I'm not going to play anymore. Which is kind of sad to say, honestly. After like... I don't know, like 16... over 16 years, I'm pretty sure I was playing RS. And yeah, sad to say goodbye, but here's what it is. So the reason I didn't log into my account is because I literally couldn't, because my Iron Man account was locked out. Same with thousands of other accounts over a year ago. I could still log into my main account, which is what I did for like over a month, I'm pretty sure. Just because I still wanted to play RS, I couldn't log into my Iron Man, but I'd still log into my main account and do bossing every day. But then after a while it just got boring because I was playing my Iron Man for like 5 years plus. So then going from Iron Man only to main account was just, I don't know, it was weird. Didn't really enjoy my main account, it was fun because I didn't have to gather supplies and do everything myself. But yeah, I just loved Iron Man. So yeah, basically this is how it went. Um, one day I just couldn't log into my Iron Man account because there was a huge lockout of thousands of accounts. So my friend was telling me on Discord that uh, some people can't log into their accounts. So I tried and my Iron Man was locked out. And in total, my Iron Man was locked out for like four or five months. It was a fuckload of time. Over five months, I just couldn't log in. But yeah, every day I would try to log on. And if it didn't work, just turn my PC off and just do whatever because I literally just wanted to play my Iron Man account. I didn't really want to play my main account that much. So after about three weeks of not playing any games, uh, I would start to play my main account a little bit, but then also play different games as well. I tried games like Apex Legends, uh, TF2, Warzone, Destiny 2, Overwatch, and a few others. But the game that really stuck to me, the game I love so much, is Apex Legends. Apex is so fun. It's such a good fucking game, and I'll show you a screenshot soon, but yeah, over the past 12 months I've racked up <laughs> like a shitload of hours on Apex. My god, that game is sick. Obviously the game fucking tilts me, but it's, it's really fun, majority of the time. So yeah, I couldn't log into my Iron Man, which in the end just basically stopped me playing the game. Well, that is the only reason that stopped me playing the game, to be fair. Because if I could have logged into my account, obviously I would have played it, yeah. The only reason I stopped logging in was because I physically couldn't log in. Because if I could log into my Iron Man, then I wouldn't have downloaded any other game. So I'd, I'd just still be playing RS only. So after about six weeks of trying to log in every single day, I eventually just stopped trying to log in. I'd still load up RS, but I'd just go straight on my main account and go bossing or some shit. But unfortunately, my main account wasn't anywhere near as fun as my Iron Man account. And then eventually, I just wouldn't even load RS anymore. I would just play other games. And after like two months or so, I'd still be getting messages every day on Discord from my friends telling me to try and log into my Iron Man and play because because I used to boss with other people. Yeah, I used to go, um, I used to go Duo Solak and I used to go Angel of Death. Occasionally I'd go Virago, but I just had no motivation to even try because at that point I tried to log in 5,000 times, so <laughs> point is keep trying. And that on top of things like the client crashes and no new bosses, like the client crashes was a big thing. Before my account was locked, I'd go duo Solak with my friend, and after one kill my client crashes, I load back up my client, and log in to a 9 mil death. 
and then we'd carry on bossing. My client crashes again 10 minutes later, and I log back into a 9 mil death. It was so frustrating. And the client crashes didn't get fixed for months and months. My client would just crash at a boss and 10 mil grave. And 10 mil cash on an Iron Man was very hard to get. And if I'm being honest, I'm pretty sure in about two months of client crashes, I'd probably paid about 500 mil cash just for fucking graves. I'm sure it must have, yeah, it must have been at least 500 mil, I'm sure. Yeah, just imagine losing 500 mil cash in your fucking Iron Man account because the client keeps crashing and that problem didn't get fixed for months. And not being able to do my dailies was also a big thing because every day I would do like daily jack of trades, daily divination caches and daily viswax, daily buying runes from every shop, daily challenges and any other dailies that I used to do as well as player imports and all that shit. And I remember thinking to myself after like two months of not logging in that I've just missed out on over 6,000 Visuax, over 7 million Divination XP from daily caches, tens of millions of runes that I used to buy every day from the shop. If you remember my bank, I had like nearly 10 million of each elemental rune. I used to stack everything up. Uh, millions of XP from daily challenges. All of the resources and trade goods from ports I missed out on. And I consistently did dailies for years and years. So missing out on the daily challenges and everything else that I did daily was really frustrating. And missing out on all of that stuff really demotivated me, honestly. And I remember one day my friend messaging me on Discord. And he says something along the lines of... A lot of people are getting their accounts back. You should try and log into your Iron Man. And they're giving away a free cosmetic to anyone that got locked out of their account. <laughs> and, in, <laughs> and in my fucking head, I was sitting there thinking, hmm, okay, so I've missed out on so much to something that wasn't my fault. I've missed out on months of bossing with all my friends. But because of that, you get some shitty cosmetic t-shirt which i don't know honestly it pissed me off even more <laughs> because after missing out on millions of xp <laughs> so much daily stuff i don't know the t-shirt doesn't compare to what i would have got if i could have logged in you know what i mean obviously they could have just gave nothing but i don't know it just pissed me off for some reason so yeah i messaged my friend back and i said yeah now nah, you're good fam i'm not even gonna fucking try after months of not playing, I really couldn't give a shit about some cosmetic. So yeah, I just didn't even try and log in. And I just felt like I had no motivation to even try. And I'd be on Discord every day, and I'd, I'd, all of my friends on Discord, next to the name, they would just say, playing RuneScape, playing RuneScape, playing RuneScape. And then there's me fucking locked out. Yeah, I don't know, in my opinion, it just wasn't... <laughs> I don't know, sounds fucking stupid, but it wasn't fair. <laughs> I wanted to play my Iron Man and I couldn't. I missed going duo solo like with my friend and bossing. Even something like archaeology, I missed doing it, I don't know why. And just before I got locked out, a lot of good stuff happened. Like, I was AFK and Slayer a lot. And I got enough vital sparks to unlock Limitless Sigil on my Iron Man. I would AFK a lot of archaeology and I unlocked uh, some Inquisitor staff pieces which over a year ago was like the Inquisitor stuff was really good, yeah, it was the best weapon against things that melee you. And I'd finished getting the best in slot perks on my gear. I was getting a shitload of drops from bosses and I got new personal records at some bosses. I was doing a lot of ED1 and a lot was going on and I was so happy and then I all of a sudden just got locked out of my account. And in my documents right now, I have 485 clips of RuneScape that I didn't put into a video and there's a lot of stuff there because after I couldn't log into my account I didn't really want to make videos because soon I'm going to run out of clips and I can't play RS and I think the thing that I miss the most is Solak because every single day me and my friend will go in Solak duo for like three to four hours and I got the offhand blightbound crossbow and we were just grinding every day, every day, just so I can get my main hand blight pound. So I'd have the best in slot, uh, dual world range. 
And then I was going ED1 as well, so I could get uh, Elite Serenic. So I'd have best in slot range gear. And even now, thinking in my head, I miss Solak so much. If I was going to come back to RS, which I'm not going to, the one thing I want to do is go back to Duo Solak with my friend. My god, I miss it so much. But yeah, big shout out to friends who taught me Solak Duo when I'd never been Solak before, who would duo with me every day. It was by far my favorite thing to do on RS. It was so much fun. But I think that's pretty much it. It's just like a snowball effect of shit happening that pisses me off that makes me not want to play. And then getting locked out of my account, not being able to log back in. And I start playing other games that I find so much more fun than RS. And I've missed out on over one year of updates. I know now there's new weapons and new bosses. I still watch RS videos and I don't even know what's happening. Shout out to San RS. I'm so jealous of your beard. I want it. I'm currently growing mine, but yours is, is different. But yeah, now it's like too far gone. I, I've missed out on so much and I don't see the point in coming back to RS. And I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to update. I still get comments on my videos asking me where I am. And it's nice to know that people miss my videos. And honestly, I haven't uploaded a video in over 12 months. And in that time, I've only lost like 50 subscribers. The majority of you are still subbed to my channel, even though I haven't uploaded, which is insane. A good insane, obviously. I am still going to be making videos, by the way. It's just not going to be for RuneScape. I'm going to talk about that in a second. By the way, while making this video, which is the 2nd of April 2022, Probably not going to upload the video today. Um, I just logged into my Iron Man for the first time in a very long time. I did have a little bit of a scare because um, because I tried to log in a few times, but it wouldn't let me. But yeah, it turns out I just typoed. So here we are logging into my account for the first time in a very long time. How long has it been? Wow. 423 days ago. Jesus. My god, that has gone so quick. What the fuck? I'm still in my clan, what? Kind of surprised my clan didn't kick me out after so long. I've only just cancelled my membership, by the way. For 11 months I was paying membership without playing. I literally cancelled it last week. I kind of regret not cancelling it as soon as I got logged out, but yeah. I'm not going to log in, by the way. Alright, I'm going to try and log into my main account now, see how long it's been. It should be less than the Iron Man, because... Yeah, when I, when I got logged out of my Iron Man, I logged into my main account to play, to go bossing. So it's going to be less than 423. I'm not sure, though. Okay, so yeah, I uh, logged in 369 days ago. And again, with my main account, I only just cancelled... My membership last week. Looks like I'm still a member currently, but that'll, that should run out soon. As soon as the month is over, I guess. Man, I'm gonna miss this game. Oh yeah, let me show you how long I've been, um, how many hours I've racked up in Apex, because I play it so much. Take a look at this. So in 12 months, I've racked up nearly 1500 hours in Apex. Jesus. And so, I don't want my YouTube going to waste, so yeah, I'm going to be making videos again on gaming, but it's going to be mainly Apex. It's a game that I love, and I've been playing it for a lot of hours. It's really fun. So yeah, currently I'm going to say there's going to be no more uh, RuneScape videos at all, just because I have no interest in logging back in. But you never know, you might still enjoy other games that I play too, so... But I'd appreciate it so much if you stayed subscribed. But if not, then I, I fully understand. Uh, I'm going to show you what Apex is like now. So if you didn't know, Apex is like a... It's an FPS shooter. Um, there's like a battle royale mode where you can have uh, 60 people in a map. Teams of either 2 or 3. And you basically just loot weapons armor hills all that and then you just, you just kill people then there's arenas mode which is like a smaller smaller map than battle rail 
and this uh, 3v3. It's a little more fast paced. Because you can just buy guns and get straight into fighting. But yeah, genuinely, I love this game so much. On my days off, I can spend eight hours straight on this game. I love it. It's a really fun game. There's like different legends you can choose from, which have like different abilities. And I definitely think you'd enjoy watching me play if you stick around. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you an explanation after one year of why I don't play RS anymore. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I really missed making videos, by the way. But yeah. Peace.